At this point, even I can't believe this happened again. Mint in the box. Avocado, Toastmaster, Waffle Maker, slash Grill, model 267. Okay. Okay, this is the box. The other side's the same. However, this is the part that makes it even more unbelievable. 1972. Again, another 1972 mint in the box avocado appliance. In the box. Comes complete with original manual. Oh yeah, it even has the little string attached to it still. It is recommended that the homemaker condition the grids by brushing lightly with a cooking oil before the first use. Again, that makes me the homemaker. Floor, window, and table fans. Oh, yeah. McGraw Edison Company. Toastmaster Quality Appliances, service card and warranty. Even has a complete list of uh, approved um, service centers. Let's see if there's one near me. Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Quick Service Electric Company, 300 Stanwick Street, 15222. Maybe I should, <laughs> highly doubt they're still there today, but you know, I'm just saying, that's what's in here. And it's the only one nearest me. You have, um, there's a complete list of uh, approved service centers. They even have ones for Canada. Ontario, Quebec. Wow, even have Puerto Rico on here too. The warranty card. as well as, for some reason, two notices. Toastmaster. You have the light off, I'm sorry, off light, medium, dark control for the waffle. And uh, right here behind you is a little light that lights. I'll show that later. 
And um, to remove, these are completely removable. So this lifts up and it tilts back. So it's like this. All right. I'm just going to remove the one to show you something. Okay. These grids reverse to become skillets with drainage. So guess what? This is also a vintage George Foreman grill. I will be preparing waffles for the very first time. So I stopped at the Giant Eagle and got Belgian waffle mix. Almost ready. According to this, I'm going to do three, four waffles and eat one and a quarter cups of mix. One egg, which is right there, one egg, ta three tablespoons of oil, and three quarters a cup of water. Well, this is going to be the mixing bowl, the giant Pyrex. A little one to measure the vegetable oil. And we're going to get things rolling here. And now we have all the egg cooked correctly measured ingredients. Now here's a vintage whisk. Now to beat it. I don't want to make a mess, so I'm going to do it gently. Now, I can't get this in a good position to see the signal light on top, but it's right here. But the manual says first the preheat. Okay. Okay. And the manual says halfway between medium and dark. It's making noises. Oh, this thing's just like everything else. It uses the heating element light, you know, to to show. Okay, the indicator light has gone off. That's just some steam. Uh, I just washed this. There's a little bit of water still on it. So. And the manual over here says you put on, uh, let's see, you pour like less than two thirds of a cup out of this. So. Well, I'll just have to see. I never did this before. That might be too much shit. And we'll have to see. Put on medium. Let's see what happens. Watch, it's gonna come out like half a waffle or something because I didn't pour enough or something. Okay, the light has gone out. Oh yeah! Oh man, this was just awesome. It tasted so freaking good. Um, I made a total of four waffles. And I'm going to put two of them, uh, wrap them up and put them in the fridge so I can reheat them for later because this thing makes huge waffles. And the non-stick cooking surface left it nice and clean. And there, as presented, is the 1972 Toastmaster Model 267 Waffle Iron Slash Sandwich Grill.